So finally, Rondi, what recommendations can you give for staying well for premutation carriers? Yes, that's a very good question. And I think there's a lot of things that carriers can do to stay well. Um, one very important thing is avoiding toxins in the environment. Um, and toxins can include some general anesthetic agents. Uh, we've seen that older carriers, when they're exposed to general anesthesia, particularly involving isofluranes, where they're intubated and receive these inhalants called isofluranes, sometimes after uh, having this experience uh, a month or two later, they start developing symptoms of tremor and balance. So because of this, we recommend avoiding uh, isofluranes in the general anesthesia. Sometimes when you have orthopedic surgery, you can have regional anesthesia where they inject lidocaine or another anesthetic agent to numb the limb where they're doing surgery or spinal anesthesia. So you can, in many cases, avoid a general anesthesia. Um, and if you need to have a general, then if at all possible, avoid the isoflurines. Um, sometimes that can't be avoided and um, that's okay too, but uh, when possible, it's good to avoid that because we know that general anesthetic agents can uh, often cause uh, neuronal cell death, and that can increase your risk for FAXTAS. Um, there are other um, um, toxins in the environment. For instance, I was talking to a gentleman the other day that, that has a hobby of using varathanes and um, uh, various paints uh, on his uh, woodwork for a hobby. Um, and uh, this has led to more white matter disease in his uh, brain. And so if you can avoid paints and thinners and um, varathane, particularly if you're not using a mask or using these agents in the outside, if you're using it in a um, uh, uh, confined area where you're breathing it all the time, uh, then we think that that can cause more problems uh, with white matter disease. Alcoholism, uh, opioids, and uh, illegal drugs, um, uh, cocaine, uh, amphetamines, these kinds of things can cause brain damage. And so um, you want to drink um, not excessively, but in moderation, because high amounts of alcohol can worsen white matter disease. You want to treat the medical problems associated with the premutation as early as possible. For instance, high blood pressure needs to be treated um, because if not, high blood pressure can lead to vascular uh, dementia. Uh, and we want to avoid that problem. Um, also, uh, premutation carriers sometimes can experience autoimmune problems such as hyper or hypothyroidism, and this needs to be treated because having too low of a thyroid level um, can cause problems with the brain and with aging, too high or too low. Um, uh, How would you know you had a thyroid problem? So um, you sometimes experience symptoms um, such as excessive sweating uh, or feeling cold in the extremities or hair loss. Um, and if you are a premutation carrier, it's important for your doctor to check thyroid levels um, once a year or once every couple of years or if you're symptomatic. So gaining excessive amounts of weight or losing weight. Um, avoiding type 2 diabetes um, we think is also important um, and if it does occur then treating uh, those symptoms. Um, avoiding excessive weight gain. Exercising is really important for wellness uh, along with a healthy lifestyle. Eating foods high in antioxidants, green tea, lots of berries, fresh fruit, um, and uh, supplements 
such as omega-3, avoiding vitamin deficiencies, such as vitamin D deficiency, which is very common, um, uh, folate and B12 deficiencies. Um, so these kinds of health maintenance Isn't things. Is there a multivitamin that contains all these? Or yeah, many, many multiple vitamins uh, contain uh, B complexes, uh, Omega-3s, uh, vitamin C is a great antioxidant. Uh, so you can take them separately or all together in a vitamin, a multiple vitamin. So um, we think that healthy lifestyles, avoiding some of the medical problems that can happen with the premutation, uh, treating anxiety and depression, and exercising are all very important. So it's important to discuss this with your doctor because I think sometimes premutation carriers don't admit to some of these problems. Yes, I think you're right. Discussing it, if you're having surgery, sometimes you don't alert the anaesthetist to the fact that you may be a carrier of fragile X. Yes, and, and we know that the premutation neurons can die more easily in cell culture, and that's why we think they're more vulnerable than neurons without the premutation. So you have to take care of your vulnerable neurons uh, so that they're with you for a long life. Thank you, Rondi.